Here we're asked, what is the mass in grams of 0.034 moles of copper atoms? So we're given 0.034 moles, and our desired unit then would be grams. We're being asked, what is the mass in grams of this copper? And we're given moles. So in all of these situations, when you're converting from grams to moles or moles to grams, what you're going to need is the molar mass. In this case, the molar mass of the copper. So we go to the periodic table and we find out that the molar mass of copper is 63.55 grams. So let me go ahead and write out the road map here. So we have 0 0.034 moles and we need to go to grams. We have one arrow here, so we need one conversion factor. So we have to be able to relate moles to grams. Well, what do we know? From the periodic table, we know that one mole of copper is equivalent to 63.55 grams. So now I can write two conversion factors for this. So one mole of copper is 63.55 grams, or I can write it this way. I think when you're doing these problems in the beginning, you want to take the time out to write out the road map and write out all of the possible conversion factors. It'll make it easier. So now I'm all set. I can go from moles to grams because I have my conversion factors. So we're given 0 0.034 moles of copper. And remember, the idea is you want to cancel out units and in this case, we want to cancel out moles so that we end up with grams. So we are going to use this conversion factor here. So 63.55 grams per mole. And notice here, moles cancel out, and we're left with grams. And that comes to 2.16 grams. Now, we do have to take into consideration our significant figures here. And we were given 0 0.034 moles. This has two significant figures, so our answer must also have two significant figures. So I will round this to 2.2 grams. Now, in this next question, we're asked how many atoms are in 0 0.034 moles of copper. So now we're being asked, we're being given the number of moles, but we're being asked how many atoms. So in this case, we're going to need to use Avogadro's number. And we know that one mole of anything is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23. It's like using um, a dozen. One dozen anythings equals 12. So one dozen tables would be 12 tables. One dozen eggs, 12 eggs. One dozen atoms would be 12 atoms, okay? Well, this is the same thing with the mole. One mole of anything is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So in this case here, we're being asked how many atoms are in this sample of gold. So I have my equivalents here, so I can make up conversion factors. So one mole of copper is going to have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, or I can write it this way, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole. Okay, so uh, I forgot to write my road map, so I'm going from, uh, of course, my given was 0 0.034 moles, my desired units, atoms, and so we're going from moles to atoms. And because I have this equivalence, or these conversion factors here, I only need the one conversion factor. So let's go ahead and set up our problem. So 0 0.034 moles okay, of copper. And let's see, should we use conversion factor 1 or conversion factor 2? Remember, we need to cancel out moles in this case. So I'm going to use conversion factor 2. So we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per 
per mole. My moles cancel. Now, if you would have used conversion factor 1, then you would have ended up with moles over atoms, and there would have been no cancellation. So you would have known right away that you were wrong. So my answer here then is 2.047 times 10 to the 22 atoms. But again, I have to take into consideration significant figures. I can only have two. So this is going to be 2.0 times 10 to the 22 atoms. Okay. So anytime you're asked how many atoms, how many particles, how many ions, how many molecules, that's when you're going to have to come up with a relationship between moles and particles. And of course, that's using Avogadro's number. All right, let's go into this next one. How many copper atoms are in 4.23 grams of copper? Now this one is, um, we're not starting off with moles here. We're starting with grams. And just about all of these types of problems, if you're given something in grams, you're going to need to convert to moles. So I'm given 4.23 grams, and my desired units are atoms. Now I can't come up with an equivalence from grams to atoms, but what I can do is I can go from grams to moles. So you can always go between grams and moles, and then I can go from moles to atoms. Okay, so um, let's see. I have, uh, let's start here. We're going to have one, two conversion factors. So the first one is from grams to moles. Well, we're dealing with copper, so I know that one mole of copper would be 63.55 grams, or I can write it as one mole. Oh, I'm sorry, let me erase that. Let's see, 63.55 grams per one mole of copper. So I have my first set of conversion factors that's going to take care of this part. And then we need to go from moles to atoms. Well, I know from above that one mole of anything is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. In this case, it's going to be atoms. Then I can write my other conversion factor as well. And that's one mole. So I'm ready to go. I have two sets of conversion factors. Um, I can go from grams to moles and then moles to atoms. So let's go ahead and start this off. We have 4.23 grams of copper. And so in this case, I'm going from grams to moles. So I need to use one of these conversion factors. Again, I want to cancel out grams. So I'm going to use conversion factor 1. So 1 mole of copper, 63.55 grams. Grams cancel, so now I have moles. Now I'll take care of the second part. I'm going from moles to atoms. And in this case here, I have two conversion factors. And I want to cancel out moles, so I end up with atoms. I use conversion factor number 2. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms and is one mole. So moles cancel out and I'm left with atoms. And that works out to be 4.01 times 10 to the 22 atoms. Okay. So that's, uh, that worked out well. Let's see. Let's try this last one here. What is the mass in grams of 2.54 times 10 to the 25 copper atoms? So now we're being given the number of copper atoms. And we're being asked, what is the mass in grams? Well, let's see. Let's write what we're given. We have 2.54 times 10 to the 25 copper atoms. And our desired unit is grams. So we have to go from atoms to grams. So 
I'll write out my road map. I know I can't go from atoms to grams directly, but <clears throat> I do have an equivalence for moles and atoms, right? So one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in this case. So I can go from atoms to moles, and then it's very easy. I can always convert between moles and grams. So again, I'm going to have two conversion factors here. So let's go ahead and write out our conversion factors. Let's see, from atoms to moles. Well, what do I know? Well, I have the equivalence that one mole is going to be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So I can write out my conversion factors here. Whoops. And it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Or I can write it like this. Notice how this is similar to the problem before, okay, except in this case we're starting with atoms and going to grams. And so we have that. So I've t I have my uh, conversion factor for this, and now I need a conversion factor from moles to grams. Well, I know that one mole of copper, and we're dealing with copper in this case, is equal to 63.55 grams. Or I can write it like this. Okay, so now I'm ready. I have my um, two sets of conversion factors. Um, I start off with 2.54 times 10 to the 25th copper atoms. And Let's see, do I use conversion factor 1 or conversion factor 2? Well, I want to cancel out atoms, so I'm going to go with number 1 here. So, 1 mole of copper contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So, notice my atoms cancel out. So, I've already taken care of this part. That's done. So, now I need to go from moles to grams. So do I use conversion factor 1 or 2? Now in this case, I want to cancel out moles so I can get to grams. So I'm going to use number 2. So I have 63.55 grams, 1 mole of copper. Moles cancel, and I'm left in grams. And now I just put this into my calculator. So what do I have here? Um, 2,681.3 grams. Now, I have to look at significant figures, all right? Um, this is what I was given, three significant figures, so I have to convert this. So I'm going to have to put this into scientific notation and only keep uh, three figures. So that is 2.68 times 10 to the third grams. Remember what I'm doing here, I'm just moving my decimal point one, two, three places. That gives me the exponent, and of course um, I always have um, a decimal here. Alright, that's it. I um, hope that you enjoyed the video, and I'll be posting a few more videos later. Thank you.